YouTube, this is Max Forte here again, I'm bringing you another review, a fragrance review that is. This is uh, Established Cognac, also known as Kriegler's 66 for men, 1966. Um, presentation is uh, very minimalistic on this, you have a nice little uh, cardboard uh, casing if you will which uh, reminds you of a cognac bottle. Uh, I put a little dent on this thing already. Um, the bottle is beautiful. This is where this shines. It's got the beautiful tassels. Um, the cap is pretty solid plastic. Uh, pretty nice, see-through. Uh, and it looks like a cognac bottle. Even the color, the juice is beautiful. The details are amazing. Um, and this was created in 1966. Um, so the presentation is rather simple. The price point on this on this fragrance is about actual an EDP of the parfum, and the price point is for this 50 ml bottle that I have here. It costs you about 205 dollars. For 100 ml, it'll run you 305 dollars. Um, I don't have much as far as like the perfumier behind this. It's unknown, and I did a lot of research. You can't find it anywhere. Uh, if you know uh, the perfumier, please uh, feel free to post below. I was looking for it rather uh, diligently, but couldn't find it. Um, and this one is not very talked about, but I believe it deserves some attention. It's still in production today. You can find it at Krigler New York City, uh, Krigler, Krigler.com, which is K-R-I-G-L-E-R. Um, this fragrance is, the scoop in this fragrance is that it's an amazing, distinctive, boozy, masculine composition that has a woody undertone and an eternal favorite feel to it that it's timeless. It's a mesmerizing to the nose sensors. It's got this thrilling, uh, adventurous, boozy, aromatic, mild sweetness to it. It's got some light fruits undertones, uh, you know, spirits, boozy and a woodsy dry down from, 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 from heart to bottom. This, this will sure turn heads and it'll knock your socks off. Especially uh, if you wear this uh, for close encounters. It's fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's almost a tobacco vibe here, but there's no tobacco that's mentioned on the composition. I think it's, it's caused between the, the fusion between the oak and the marigold. Um, the caramel really only comes through the very opening, which is a nice, sweet, boozy opening. And um, it's not extremely sweet after all, uh, becoming, again, rather woodsy and boozy at the dry down. The application in this guy, I wouldn't do more than three to five sprays. It's not beast mode, but it can get rather quiet, especially in the hot days, um, and you know, spring and, and summertime. I would do three to five sprays, max. Uh, it could it could be overbearing, um, and this is it, this could be signature scent worthy. You know, for the warmer days, you could get away with uh, you know one or two sprays. You know, it, it'll definitely do its work. Uh, the classification is a woody aromatic with gourmandish feel to it. This is a world class composition that offers a perfect blend of cognac, apple, Indian uh, tagat or um, the marigold, caramel, and oak. Those are the breakdown of the notes. That's all you got. Uh, and the summary that I would do, uh, the full scoop on this fragrance, that it's a woodsy, uh, it's a woody aromatic with a timeless, as a, I think it's a timeless masterpiece that, that has stood the test of time. Because it was created in 1966, it's still available today. Uh, it's not very talked about, but it's, it's a staple in the, um, in the Krigler line. Uh, this is not an aged scent, even though it's, it was done in the 60s. It's not aged by any means. This one will, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, ahead of its time for what it is. It was definitely ahead of its time. Uh, the opening will be a little loud. Again, the caramel, the sweetness, the cognac, the booziness, the apple. And then after the first two hours, you get more of the subdued cognac with a woodsy undertone. And the caramel starts to go away. And you're going you're gonna to get that little feeling of tobacco. You know, there's no tobacco in here. And the dry down is a beautiful, boozy, woodsy, and sweet fragrance that will definitely mesmerize your loved one. Um, what I would say about this fragrance, uh, overall, it's very unique, very underrated in my in my opinion. Uh, the projection you'll get four 
It's, it's medium to high, it's not monster. Longevity, you get five, you get eight to ten hours plus. Uh, after the first three to four hours, it becomes a little closer to the skin, but it's not very dormant. It'll still project. Uh, versatility, I'll give it a five. Uh, it's casual. Uh, you can wear it a casual, you can wear it formal, you can dress up, dress down. It could be a signature scent worthy uh, scent. It's very sophisticated and unique, very classy. And I think this will shine more around the fall and winter time. You know, I think when it's cold out, this thing will, will do phenomenally. Uniqueness, I'll give it a five. It's very unique, amazing scent. Uh, you'll, you'll not go unnoticed. You'll definitely turn heads. And overall, I'll give this a four and three quarters. I think it's definitely worth checking out. It's a solid fragrance. Should get more attention. Um, perhaps the price point is, is a little high, but you know, this is an amazing scent. It's very unique, so you get what you pay for. So that's my take on Cognac, established Cognac by Kriegler, also known as uh, Kriegler 66. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, like it, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll have more for you guys. Thank you so much, and talk to you later.